Welcome on into today's college basketball pick video play for January 4th, 2018. If you're interested in getting all of our college basketball plays for today, you can access those over at stumpthespread.com, which is linked down in the video description. So heading into this one, going to be talking about this big sky matchup between Portland State and Eastern Washington. Give our take on where we feel the best value is going to be against the spread. We actually feel both of these teams have the tools to compete in the upper tier of the big sky this season. And actually the upper tier of the Big Sky Conference. Looks like it's going to be highly competitive this season, and it's just going to be really fascinating to see how everything plays itself out in this particular league this season in what's a very top-heavy picture here in the Big Sky with probably about five or so teams that could potentially go on to win the regular season title. So Portland State, we've had a lot of fun seeing what they've been able to do so far this season. They were highly impressive through the non-conference, going 10-3 and three overall unfortunately for them they fell short in their conference opener on the road against sacramento so they're going to be trying to bounce back here today portland state actually came through for us recently on the road against the cal golden bears going into that one as slight underdogs picking up that win by a final of 106 to 81 showing that when everything is clicking for them on the offensive side of the ball they're an extremely dangerous team they're third in the nation in scoring average ninth in assists they're averaging over 92 points per game in comparison to their defense which was 294th but that's just to be expected given the up-tempo pace that this team plays at still respectable defensive numbers given the fact that this group they have a positive plus minus of about 15 points which is very solid so the vikings they went against a very respectable non-conference slate they picked up wins like i said on the road against cal in another pac-12 win taking down stanford they lost to butler by just two points and also some of their other nice wins coming against teams like Utah State and also showing they can get the job done on the road uh, with their wins against Santa Clara and Loyola Marymount, as well as UC Riverside and Portland. So showing that they can get the job done in these true road settings during the non-conference, that should translate over into Big Sky action. It didn't end their first one losing to Sacramento State. But outside of that, this group has been highly consistent and competitive in these true road settings so far this year. And we'd be surprised if that didn't continue to happen for the Vikings through the rest of the year in Big Sky action. So they're going against Eastern Washington. Right now, the Eagles, they're at 6-9 and nine overall. This team is better than their overall record might indicate, as they also went against a very tough non-conference, and even tougher slate, I'd say, than what Portland State went against. Eastern Washington, during their non-conference slate, their best win was probably their victory at Stanford. But this group, they also went on the road, played at places like Was or Wyoming, uh, South Dakota, San Francisco, UNLV, and Washington. They lost all of those games, but a number of them were very competitive. Um, and then thus far in conference play, Eastern Washington, they opened with a 13-point loss on the road against Northern Colorado, who's another one of those teams that looks like they're going to compete right in the upper tier of the Big Sky this season. They bounced back, however, in their last outing, getting past North Dakota on the road by a final of 77-64. to 64. This team, they've played a lot of road games so far this season, kind of much like Portland State has done. They should be happy to get back to their own respective home court today as they try to fend off uh, one of the top performers that we've seen in the Big Sky so far this season. So statistically, Eastern Washington, they're 178th in the nation in scoring average. They're averaging about 18 points less per game than Portland State, and then they're 230th in total team defense giving up about three to four less points per contest than Portland State. But when you just figure out the numbers, the Vikings have been much more impressive. That is coming with an asterisk, given the fact that the Vikings have faced more lower division opponents than what we've seen out of Eastern Washington. But nonetheless, watching both of these teams play through the non-conference, we feel like the Vikings are a little bit better in terms of the results that they've been posting and coming into this one we expect it to be a competitive matchup but at the end of the day we are going to go ahead side with portland state again on the road getting right now sitting as about a one point underdog in this particular matchup so we're going to take that one point if you guys agree with this pick give the video a thumbs up if you disagree give it a thumbs down check out all of our college basketball plays at stumpthespread.com linked down in the video description be sure to click that subscribe button on our youtube channel thanks for stopping on in we hope to see you guys in future videos bye